we're hooking up a uh, pH meter. It's a Genco uh, pH controller. It's got a high and low level alarm. I picked this up from a buddy. So we're going to install it over here. We just mounted this little box right in here. When it's done, we're going to have the straw back over the top of it. And all you're going to see is just the LCD readout, so it'll be hidden. Uh, so we ran the BNC from the probe. The probe is going to be inside of a uh, little capsule. So we'll show you how to put this all together. Well, the idea is that the water is going to flow through here, overflow continuously back into the tank, and we'll stick the pH meter right in this hole so that way it's got a continuous flow of water and it's protected. So that's your flow, and that'll just be continuous, right? Yep. All right. Let's throw some zip ties on there. Is it wanting to bob out? You know. Perfect. Yeah. There it is. Yeah, it's coming off the top. Right? Oh, yeah, it's coming out right here. Yeah. So we want to prevent the water from coming out. That's an easy enough fix. Solves the problem right there. Perfect. So the pH probe has constant flow. It's even helping aerate it. Excellent. Now we just have to hook up the electrical and calibrate it. So the pH probe hooks in there, right? Yeah. And then that's the electrical? Yeah. 110? Yeah. And it has to be on a surge protector? Yes. Okay. All right. You don't, you don't want just power going to it because it's a sensitive, sensitive piece of equipment, analytical equipment. Right now I'm cutting the grass around the pH meter, but I shouldn't be using these. So that's what it looks like set up. We have, if you see down in here, we have the, the tube is on the other side of the valve that regulates and uh, it's coming out, it's flowing over here. It's going up into the pH probe. And then we don't want water escaping, so it's feeding back into here, which gives a duality, um, a positive duality. It's uh, helping to aerate, just like all the other aerators are. And there's your pH meter. It needs to be calibrated. As you can see, it's a 771. Uh, the pH in this is actually a tad higher it's in the eights. So there you have it. The installation of a pH meter for your aquaponics.